あないあない Let's talk to the new person. Oh god. You encounter a strange Israel skill on the way to Ikebukuro Station. Oh! How am I supposed to get back home now? That's Aaron Fitzgerald, isn't it? That's Aaron Fitzgerald, isn't it? Whoa! Check out the outfit on her. Is she cosplaying as something? Hey! You were staring at me just now, weren't you? Oops. Oh, you like my costume? I'm cosplaying to show it off, so stare all you want. Is it is it time to be cosplaying? But the truth is, I'm wearing it because I had an event to go to yesterday. Even so, didn't you bring any clothes to change into afterwards? That's just because I didn't think I'd get stuck here like this. Besides, I didn't really go all out. It just looks like extra cool everyday clothes. No, it really doesn't. Uh, <laughs> I guess. Anyways, do you know how to get home from here? I walked all the way from Shinjuku. You guys haven't found a way out yet, have you? Oh, okie doke. Oh, well, if you happen to find a way out, let me know. I'm Midori Komaki. Nice to meet you. Man, that was some girl. Yeah, that was a thing. What? You didn't realize? I thought you of all people would figure it out, Atsuro. Hey, what's with the sarcasm? Wasn't she that famous cosplayer? I think her name is Dolly or something. I heard she's popular even among girls because she's not all stuck up. No way! R really? That girl was Dolly? Oh, that went right over my head. Damn, I should have asked for an autograph. How can you be such a fan if you didn't even know who she was? Ugh, I knew mentioning it around Otakuro would be a bad idea. Otakuro? What's with that all of a sudden? What's wrong with being an otaku? I don't know. Alright, so that was the scene that took place. Uh, then the area near Tokyo Station seems to be blocked off as well. This place is out too. It's so hot. My feet are killing me. Mm, yeah. Getting around's pretty tough now that all the transportation is dead. I want air conditioning. When's the electricity gonna come back on? Yeah. Yeah, that's Neptune, all right. And I'm hungry. Atsuro, go buy me something. I can't walk another step. Jeez, you're selfish. Uh, what do you want? I don't care. We passed a convenience store earlier. Just get me something. Ah, uh, fine, all right. I'll be right back. That was close. They almost shut their doors because there was no way to restock. What? Then... Take it easy. I was able to get some bread that was still there. Oh yeah, bread. Let's get this bread! Wow. Thanks, Atsuro. But this is more serious than I thought. Tokyo really is reliant on other cities. We'll be fine as long as the park still has water, but if that stops, we're in trouble. Jesus, there's more. Alright. Area near UNA station seems to be blocked up as well. No use over here either. I'm thirsty. Could we stop somewhere for some water? Let's see if there's a park nearby. Wouldn't want to end up with heat stroke. Man, I'm really tired from all this walking. Even if there's a blackout, why can't the buses and taxis be running? Uh, because the roads are full of accidents and debris? Ugh, stupid lockdown. Uh, as you pass through, uh, as you pass Rapongi, you hear an irritated voice that sounds like ours. Are you sure? If you put your trust in Shomonkai, everything will be taken care of. 
Learn when to quit already. I'm telling you, I'll be fine. Are those ears for show? I see. Well, I'll leave you be for today. But should you happen to run into trouble, don't hesitate to rely on us. My name is Azuma. It's been a pleasure meeting you. After the Naharu's name, the man leaves. <laughs> who the hell rely on you? Hmm? You're the kids who came to my street show this morning. Whoa! Do you remember every fan who comes to see you? <laughs> no, just a coincidence. Though I've seen you in the crowd pretty often, huh? I usually see you cheering by yourself, but you had a couple others with you today. But one of them didn't seem too into my songs. <laughs> Which one was that? Me or, me or what? Oh, come on! It's not every day you get to hear Haru perform live! Why is it my fault? Why? <laughs> Why is it my... I, I, said, I said I liked it! I said I... Okay. It's okay. Everyone has their own tastes, right? Hey, I listened. Trust me, it's cool. I don't mind at all. Oh, by the way, Haru, wasn't that man just now someone from the Shomonkai? Who? Him? Whatever. He came by and said, we'll help you if you're ever in trouble. If he wants to help, he'll do something about this blackout. I can't write like this. <laughs> I'm looking forward to hearing what you come up with. After the introduction, she part with Haru. Ah, yeah. And the area near uh, Shinaga Station seems to be blocked off as well. Damn it! The east side's completely blockaded too! We really are trapped in the Yamanote Circle. What are we supposed to do? Yeah, there must be a way out somewhere. Let's not give up and keep looking. It'll be tough if it's just us, but I'm sure we can share info with others to help. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's talk to the weird dude. can't go home either, huh? But it looks like Sheba Park is one of the bigger refugee shelters around. There sure are a lot of people here. It's placed well for it. Sheba Park was built to completely surround Zojoji. I know what Zojoji is. The park has schools, hotels, and even libraries, so it's a natural gathering place. I see. And since it's next to Tokyo Tower, I guess it's easy to find. Look at all those people. There's nothing any one person can do, so they just hope for the lockdown to lift. Guess we're not the only ones having a hard time of things. Yeah, I hope we can all get out of the Yamanote circle soon. Uh, Shaman Kai Coulters are making a speech before the masses gathered in uh, Shiba Park. Do you all know the story of the Tower of Babel? I do actually, I was quite into Tower Babel and Babylon and Gilgamesh quite a few years back. I went through a phase, I don't know why, but that shit really interested me. Man once attempted to create a gargantuan tower in order to become closer to God. Their arrogance was punished with an ordeal by which their language was divided. But through knowledge and technology, man has overcome these linguistic barriers. The internet we have today is the embodiment of this triumph. But now, man has once again become arrogant and God has sent us another ordeal. To withstand this ordeal, man must join hands with one another and stand united. I'm looking at that image and that's not him, that's uh... Did, did we get that girl's name? The priestess girl. Did we get her name? Because that looks like her in the picture. I implore you all, stand with the Shomankai and withstand God's ordeal. Stand with my dick. That's the Shomankai founder making a speech over there. Yes, the cultist, yes. Cross-cultural communication is proof we've overcome the Tower of Babel, huh? But another ordeal's coming down the pike? It wasn't those demons in Aoyama, was it? Possibly. You think so too? I mean, the timing was just too perfect. Hmm? Look, that girl. Uh, you spot a girl who stands out within the Shaman Kai members. Seems to be going around and speaking to some of the refugees. This ah, yeah. misfortune has struck all the people equally. Everyone here is undergoing hardship. Ah, yeah. 
Let us stay calm and wait. Give generously of your effort and assistance. Join my damn party. <laughs> it will happen eventually, I know it. That's the girl from last night. She seemed weird then, but she's kind of cute, huh? I know, right? <laughs> hey, you know what? You're right. I thought you'd say that. She seems to be your type. Come on, you guys. What's all the whispering about? You two are such goons. Don't, don't worry about it. One of the Shomunkai members notices you and approaches. Hello. I'm with the order known as the Shomunkai. Can you spare me a moment? Uh, yes. You see, I'm going to kill your god. As you know, advances in technology have created new forms of mass communication. As these forms take hold, it is vital that we not lose sight of human contact. We of the Shomunkai aim to reaffirm the miracle of human contact in the modern day. By... What? How do you reaffirm the miracle of human contact? What does that mean? What does that mean? How good that you agree! Come forth and hear our Founder's words! I insist! As a Shomakai member uh, begins her spiel, a familiar woman interrupts the conversation. You mustn't be too forceful with your invitations. Oh! Lady Amane! Ah, oh, there we go. Amane. We met yesterday. Allow me to introduce myself formally. I am Amane Kazuryu, a maiden of the Shomonkai. She did say her name, yeah. Okay, no. She has said her name before. Because I remember the last time she said it, I was thinking... You mean Kuzuryu? You mean Danganronpa? What? <laughs> but yeah, okay. Yes. As a maiden... I am she through whom divine voices, both good and evil, speak. So what are you saying? She speak to angels and demons. Man has, of old, distinguished between supportive gods and rapacious demons. However, the distinction is academic. At root, gods and demons are both otherworldly. You can hear their voices, behold their presences, can't you? Just as I'd expect from one who has mastered a comp, you can feel them. I have a question for you three. Where did you acquire those comps? Should I be an arsehole or... Because I don't know about the rest, but she, she, she seems legit. Also, in the opening cutscene, she knows Aoyama, so you know what? Yeah. Now yeah. He gave these to you? I see. I had thought that may have been the case. It was we and the Shomonkai who requested that he create that program. In any event, I believe we will see one another again. If you'll excuse me, farewell for now. You hear that? Yep. Question is, why would they commission something like that? Why would he have the ability to do that? Why would the Shomonkai want a demon summoning device? They want to use a demon summoning program to summon a god? I mean, just as you said, it's academic. It's academic. The difference between gods and demons is purely a perspective thing. If you want to go ahead and say they are all, they are all demons, hence why, at least in Persona, I'm assuming, you can summon gods and demons as your Persona. Because they're the same thing, it's just the perspective and the legend around them. It might make sense, if that girl's right, and demons and gods aren't that different. There you go. But once they summon a god, or what then? Probably everyone will die. Huh? How should I know? They'll probably summon a god in six days and look what will happen. Alright, alright Haru, let's see what's up. What's wrong? Is something going on over at Bugaycon? I thought I heard something too. Is that singing? Hey, that's one of Haru's songs. Let's go check it out. I uh... Through the demons? What are you saying? That would be even more dangerous. 
Look how many demons are surrounding her. It's better if she comes to us. There's more demons between us and okay. Oops, I guess I screwed up. <laughs> she doesn't look very worried. What's her deal? Hey, stupid, stop mumbling to yourself and help us save her. Uh, oh, right. Run, Haru! It's dangerous! We'll take care of them! <laughs> no, it's alright. I can protect myself. Yeah, she's pretty cool with this. What the fuck is that? Hmm? I guess it's out of batteries. <laughs> <laughs> she is so just... She is so cavalier about life! Uh-oh. This could be bad, Aya. Who the fuck is Aya? Hurry, Haru! Why isn't she running? Oh, damn it. We're gonna have to go to her. Let's go! Alright, well. Oh god, I gotta protect her. Oh, dear lord. Alright, what we got? Anger hit. Critical hit, one throw, accuracy 3%. Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's fuck him up. I found you. Huh? Relinquish your power to my master. My power? Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Wherever I go, it's demons. Why can't they just leave me alone? Okay, so it's more or less is what I've already fought before. I can live with that. How dare you! Take that. Not a lot of money, but I mean, it's better than nothing. And again. God damn it. There's always a few goddamn points off. Oh god. What are the chances? The one button, the one hotkey that freezes everything is the one key on my keyboard that sticks. <laughs> Alright, well. Okay, I gotta run. Damn it! That hurt, you piece of. Huh? I'm not dead. Why? Why is she still alive? I get it. It must be the Harmonizer. So the Harmonizer affects not just the comp's owner, but everyone in its range. Okay, well, I gotta run. I gotta run.
Did you not? Yeah, I want to set it. How's he expect to Haru? Hey guys, you should leave me here and run away. Now we're good. Uh, thanks, but don't kill yourselves in the process, okay? Maybe. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, okay, Jesus. Okay, Haru, run. Haru, run. There we go. Can you not? Ah! <sighs> I, uh, I. Son of a cunt nugget! Why didn't I heal her either? She might have made it. She can't heal. I shouldn't have relied on just strength. 
but strategy as well. Shut the fuck up. Ah, cunt nugget. Right, let's try this again. Alright, so straight away, demon speed, or devil speed, move, actually, fuck you in particular, how about that? Bitch. I'm really annoyed by that. If I did one more point of damage, then that would have been a good use of that goddamn fire, but no. Did you really think you'd get anywhere with this? This wasn't really the best plan, sir. That wasn't the best plan. If that's what you wanted to do, then by all means. Sure. You think that's the best idea? Go ahead. You were just marching to death at that point. You guys. Uh, thanks, but don't kill yourselves in the process. Okay? No, but you might die. He might die in the process.
You walked into literally the worst team possible. Ah, so close. I didn't mean to do that. That's going to happen a lot, isn't it? Let's give that a shot. Why not? Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. Copy one skill. All right. Have a heal on this boy's team as well, why not? Ah, oh, yeah, two. Haru, are you alright? Yeah, thanks to you guys. So you can summon demons too? Uh, um, yeah, but that's not as surprising as seeing you here. You were surrounded by all those demons and never so much as screamed. I'd have been fine by myself if my sequencer hadn't run out of batteries. I know what sequencer is. Sequencer is a device that plays back instrumental data. It's like a composition tool. You guys are demon tamers, but not like me. You use a different method. I summon my demons by singing in sync with the sequencer. Okay. Huh? You can summon demons too, Haru? See, uh, the more com the more surprised I think about that is that she does it by singing. She doesn't need a technology app. She does it naturally. So that's why you took out that sequencer a second ago. Did now you make your sequencer too? Then? Now ya? Who? No, I borrowed this from someone over six months ago. Yeah, Aya, the old leader of D.Va, lent it to me. The batteries are dead, so for now it's just a useless hunk of junk. But I still like to have it close by. Well, I'd like to, but they're all sold out of that kind at the convenience stores. Oh, c can I have a look at the sequencer's terminal? Hmm? Uh, sure. Damn, it's no good. I thought we might have been able to use the hand charger to juice it back up. Well, thanks anyway. Were you worried about me? 
Don't worry. Even if it's not working, this is still like a security blanket for me. Yeah, I know. Okay, but tell that to the demons. But a security blanket? <laughs> Don't overthink it. Oh, okay. So you first summoned a demon over six months ago? Man, you're way ahead of us. No, the first time it happened was about a month and a half back. Still, that's more experience than ours. We just started yesterday. Yesterday? You've come a long way in two days then. Amazing. That reminds me. Hey, you there. So, How I motion towards Kazuya to come over. Yeah, I thought so. You've got this dangerous smell to you. Okay, cool. Thank you for sniffing me. <laughs> but I kind of like that about you. Okay, good. I like this. Iris speaks in a low voice, so the other two don't hear. Well, thanks again. I'm gonna get going, but I hope we run into each other again. So do I. So do I, madam. Of all people. Who'd have thought she could summon demons too? I guess demons have been around Tokyo way before we knew about them. Yeah, looks like. The guys in Shomonkai seem to have been using demons from way back. Wait! Did you check Haru's death clock? It said zero last time, right? Yeah, it's two like us. We really did it! We saved Haru's life! Aha! That proves we can change other people's death clocks too! <laughs> Isn't that great? Of course it is! Right? Yeah! So now that we know we can increase the time on the death clock for others, let's keep at it and do the same for everyone trapped in the Yamanote Circle. But I wonder how Haru summons demons using that sequencer instead of a comp. What's the underlying mechanism there? What do comps and the sequencer have in common that lets them summon demons? I know. There you go, overthinking things again. Who cares about that right now? Everyone should. We just saved Haru's life. That's good enough for me. Even so, I'm a little worried that she didn't seem too thrilled about it. I hope it's just part of that cool, disaffected rock star attitude they all have. By the way, what did Haru say to you? Nothing you need to concern yourself with. Oh, so it's a secret? Really now? Yes. Ah, yeah, new demons, what we got? Hoops. Ah, damn. I might replace Ogre with this one. Because what's Ogre at? 40, okay, never mind. 14 strength. No, never mind. But the skills, though. The skills, though. Also, before I forget, actually. I'm a save before I do this. I'm a save before I do this. Because I could then fuse that dude with Ogre and see what I get. Search. Oh. Oh my god, that is so damn helpful. Okay, okay. Taunt, Dia, Anticurse. Zeo. Zeo, Life Bonus, Mute, Evil Wave. Aggie, Watchful. Gain more XP if, if not assigned to a team.
this is going to replace the ogre. And that was my plan. Because Night Soul. But I'll be losing Dia and Zeo. Oh no, there's more. Oh, I can just make Windigo at some point. Bear with me. Bear with me then. Let me just buy another pixie just outright. Come over here. So I don't want to lose the pixie I have. So then. Shoot your pixie with the jaggy. Set skills to inherit. How many skills can I inherit? Oh, okay. Anger hit and Dia. No passives. I'm trying to make me even sexier. Oh, you're such a pervert. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that doesn't sound hot. That doesn't sound good. Oh, God. The entire sequence was going between 14 and 18 FPS. Bloody hell. Okay. And now, does having him open up anything else? It does. An angel. Okay.
All right, so now, like the team. Okay, so yeah, you're a good defender for her. You're a good defender for her now. That's good. I mostly don't want to lose you because you have like 10 in magic now, which is mad. Do these two fuse anything? What made that angel? God no. God no, I don't want that. Uh but that's that's it, just those two so far. Hmm. Yeah, well fifteen, yeah, okay. Really? Oh, that's upsetting. Yeah, that's, that's alright. I'll do that. Carry over the Agi. Hero Aid. Yeah, that's good. I've never been fused before. Oh dang, I'm excited. Maybe I'll become a city boy. Mika Tai. <laughs> yeah, Hughes me again. Uh, Demigo Gala. Alright. Oh, can I skip? Can I skip? I can. Okay, cool. I'm the fairy uh, Kiji Muna. Oh, well, I want my power. Yeah, you want my power, right? Well, come on, let's go. Be right for now. I still find it mad. There's a goddamn angel. I can just no that. Oh no, there is angel. Divine is the uh... divine is the uh... race, but that is the angel, the angel uh... demon. Okay, I could make that beast you. You know what, that'll be alright for now. That's fine. That's fine, I'll say. That's... That's alright. 